Quilling Card Braille Collection. Introduction to Braille. I'm Kim Charlson, and I'm the Executive Director of the Braille and Talking Book Library at the Perkins School for the Blind in Watertown, Massachusetts. And I had the opportunity to work with Quilling Card on the design of their Braille card line. And I wanted to share with you a little bit about um, background about Braille. So I will do that first and tell you a little bit about Braille. First is this machine that's in front of me. This is the Perkins Brailler, and it was um, invented and manufactured now, still is manufactured at the Perkins School for the Blind um, in Watertown and also at um, a manufacturing plant in India as well. And it is the primary writing device for people who are blind who use Braille and has been since the early 1950s. So how does it work? A piece of paper here and we're going to put it in the brailler. So we load it. It's going to roll up inside. Okay, so there's keys here, and these six keys that I have my fingers on are the most important ones because there are six dots in the Braille cell, and each of the letters that we use in Braille are different combinations of these six keys. So pretty much everything I can do, I do with these six keys. So I'm going to write the alphabet right now and just write it all the way across the line, and I'm not going to stop or say the letters because you know the alphabet. So I'm going to... got to the end of the line and I'm gonna go that that's the backspace key this one is the next line key and then I pull the carriage back so it's kind of like using an old-fashioned typewriter it's a manual writing machine but it allows me to write whatever I want to write on the paper here so I can write letters I can write numbers there's a symbol called a number sign and I can use a number sign and when I use the number sign and then I put the letter A in front of it, now that has become the number one. So if you have an opportunity to look at Braille, and I'm going to show you the Braille alphabet on this card. So you see A through J on the first line, K through T on the next line, and U through Z on the third line. Now what's different about those, and this is the secret behind Louis Braille's secret code. He, he did A through J, and then he added dot three to A through J. So if you look at it, that becomes K through T. And then he added dot three and six to U through Z, and that becomes U through Z. So the only difference in there is the letter W. And the reason that W doesn't match the pattern is because there is no W in the French language. So we had to add that for English. So that's why it doesn't fit the pattern. But Braille is very systematic. It's easy to use. Um, it's a little challenging maybe to read. It takes a little practice because I read it by touch. Of course, blind people would read it by touch. Sighted people can read it visually. Um, and recognize the characters. But it, we can write music and science notation, mathematics, um, anything that you can write in print, it's possible to write in Braille as well. The Braille Collection, from our hand to your heart.